Okay, now that we have a nice clean sheet, we can start working on it. We're gonna start summing. Uh, we're gonna use basic mathematical operations. We're gonna use averages and we're gonna start counting. Let's do it. So say hello to our nice clean sheet. Remember that this is a German firm that is operating in various cities. They have provided us with data about which cities they are working in, uh, the annual income and expenses of each of these stores, how big they are, what the customers think about them, uh, information about the manager, and also how many months these managers have been cooperating. Let's do some maths, or better yet, let's have Excel do some maths for us. Now, I want to know how much this uh, brand, this chain store is making in a year. So basically, I want it to give me a sum of all the values over here. How do I do that? Well, first of all, let's type in here total income. Whoopsie daisy. And then I put an equal sign, which tells Excel that I'm about to put in a formula or a function. And while well, the function is sum, and Excel has already suggested that to me. I open the parenthesis to let Excel know that I'm about to pass arguments. And always take a look at these little boxes that Excel opens, because these little boxes guide us as to how to use each function. You don't need to memorize how each function works. You can just read these boxes and, and just do as instructed. So it's telling me to give it the numbers that I want to, uh, I want to sum. Well, actually, I want to sum a range, so I'm going to select this range, close the parenthesis so that Excel knows that I'm done with my argument, and if I press enter, voila, uh, they're making 16,240,000 euros every year. That's impressive. Now, I wonder how much money they're losing. Why don't you do that for me? Pause the video and see if you can figure out how much money they're spending every year. Is the figure you found the same as mine? They are spending 13 million and 10,000 euros every year. Okay, that's cool. Now, what if I want to know their net profit? I want to know if I subtract the annual expenses from the annual income, how much is left for them? Well, luckily, Excel also performs the basic math operations. I mean, it can add, it can subtract, it can divide, and it can multiply, and that's what we need right here. So if I want to find out what their uh, net, I don't know, I have an obsession with bold, uh, what their net income is, all I need to do is I put in an equal sign because I want to use a formula, and then the annual income minus the annual expense, and 3,230,000 euros is what is left for them after their expenses. Now you decide whether that's good business or not. Now there are other things that we can do uh, right here as well. So for instance, we can use averages. I want to know what the average customer thinks about this chain store. So I'm talking about this column over here. Well, again, let's just put our title, average customer opinion, okay, or actually better than that, actually, uh, average rating, because it's shorter. Um, and now I'm gonna just correct the width. An equal sign to let Excel know that I'm putting in a function. And then, well, the, can you guess what the function is? Yes, the function for average is average. So I open my parenthesis, and it's just telling me, just like summing, it's asking me to give it the list or the range of the values that I wanted to compute. Now I close the parenthesis to let it know that my argument is over. And so it turns out that each customer, on average, their idea about our services or the services of this chain store is 4.3. So that's cool. Now I want to teach you about counting. There are times when uh, we want to count how many data points we have. It's valuable to us. Now you might tell me why go through all the difficulties of using functions because I can just count them from here. Sure enough, you can. But what if you have a big set of data like the one right here? These are a lot of data sets and they can be in the thousands or the tens of thousands of data points. Uh, you can't go count them one by one and it's not really convenient for you to go check the last data point because what if there are blanks or errors in the middle 
of your data set. So for instance, I know for a fact that there are supposed to be 369 data points uh, in this table here. Are there that many? Let's see. Number of data points. There we go. And the function is equal sign. Can you guess what the function is for count? Yes, it's count. Count, open parenthesis, and it's telling me to input the values or the range that I wanted to count. Well, I wanted to count the entire column A, so all I need to do is put A to A, which means the entire column, and press enter. Yikes, there are only 363 data points here. That means there are six data points missing. There are six blanks or errors in this data point. You see, that's why counting is valuable. You can also use it in other places. All right, that makes it for this session. You learn to sum, you learn to use basic mathematical operations, uh, you learn to average, and you learn to count. But there are times when you want to set a condition for all of these operations. Next, we're going to practice those. Meanwhile, master these formulas.